Welcome to this video on how to apply for a Florida real estate license online. So my name is Don Widmeyer. I am with All Florida Real Estate Schools. I am the director of education for the school as well as an instructor for many, many years. So I'm going to show you the process for applying online. So the very first step is to go to the right website. So you'll notice up here in the address area, it's myfloridalicense.com which is the DBPR's website. DBPR is Department of Business and Professional Regulation. Now, what you might want to do prior to actually applying online is to have your fingerprint scanned first. And uh, the reason for that is that once your application is submitted, the DBPR is going to check to see if there are fingerprints on file with the background information. And if you don't do your fingerprints first, there could be a slight delay. It doesn't, it, it's not real important that you um, do it in any specific order, but they do suggest that you do it five days prior to applying online so that it makes it more seamless and a little bit faster to get approval. Now, what we're going to do first to start the process is we're going to click on apply for and update licenses. All right, now what we must do is we must scroll down. And since we don't have a user ID or password yet, we have to create an account. So I'm going to click down here where it says create my account. And now we have to fill out this form. Everywhere we see a star by the field over here, we must enter that information. So let's enter some information. Let's uh, do Tom Smith, and let's see his email address. Donwoodmeyer at yahoo.com. Confirm. Donwoodmeyer at yahoo.com. And now the other option is we can use our email address as the user ID if we check this box here, or we can enter our own user ID there if we would prefer. So I'm just going to leave the box checked and we'll use Don Widmeyer at yahoo.com. Pre-screening question, let's use what's your mother's maiden name. Uh, we could also write our own question here if we want, but let's put the answer in here and let's just use Ben, B-I-N. All right. Now, we also have to click here where it wants to know what is the word we see on the page for security purposes. So it looks like M-I-M-O-S. I believe that's going to be an A. Okay, so we're going to click next once we have all that information in there. And it'll just show you a preview of what we entered. And then we want to hit save. So they're going to send an email to that address that I put in there with our temporary password. Once we have that, then we can sign in. So we'll do the next step once we get that. Now I am checking my email account and I see the email from uh, the DBPR here. And I see my user ID, which is my email address. And I see the temporary password, which uh, I could never remember that. So we might have to change that later. So anyway, we're going to enter that information onto the DBPR's website. So what I want to do is copy that password. Then let's go back to the DBPR's site. And what we're going to do is we're going to enter the password here. We're going to do the email ID at yahoo.com and then I'm going to click the login or log on button. Now what I have to do here is choose my final password. So let's see the temporary password I still have saved so I'm just going to do uh, a paste in there. And I'm going to input the new password. Uh, 
type it in again. Make sure it's the same. Okay. And you better write that down or put it somewhere so you don't forget. And then click Save. Now it wants to know if you want to li link an existing license to my account. And you don't have an existing license most likely. So I'm going to click no. If you do, you could click yes, but I'm going to click no. All right. So now we are in and we are ready to apply for a new license. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the link that says apply for a new license. And now I'm ready to continue on here. So I will Click the uh, right hand column here where it says real estate. Now we're going to scroll down just a little bit, and on this screen, we're going to choose sales associate slash broker sales associate. So let's click on that. And for most applications, uh, we're going to want the very first one, the initial application for sales associate license. You can read through the other ones, and if you feel like one of the other links apply to you, you can click on that. But for, for this purpose, we're going to click on the very first link, Initial Application. Okay, so now on the screen, we see the requirements. You must meet these requirements to be qualified to apply for a license. You'll also see some links that you can click on to get additional information. Uh, the Candidate Information Booklet is a really good PDF document that you might want to download for information. And it gives you a lot of information on applying and what you might want to study for the Florida State exam. So you should check that out. The other thing you'll notice is the fee to apply is $83.75. This is as of November of 2016. This fee does vary from year to year. Scrolling all the way down at the bottom, uh, there's two methods of application. Here you can apply online or you can print out the application and mail it in. It's a little faster to do the online version, which is what we're going to show you today. So I'm going to click on the link, apply using online services. So now on this screen, we want to choose the name for the application. And the name should be the same as your Social Security card shows. So we're going to click on Tom Smith. Now on this screen, it again gives us the requirements to apply. You'll notice under fingerprints, it says uh, they would like them five days prior to applying. So you might want to take care of that if you haven't already. If there's any other additional supporting documents regarding your background history or you need transcripts if you're licensed in another jurisdiction, all those uh, could be uploaded right here when you apply. But they can also be added after the fact as well. It does show the fee of $83.75 here for uh, your application fee. And there's also a number of clickable links in this information that you can click on for additional information. So what we're going to do now is click on Next. So let's click on that. Now our application is ready to begin. So now we have to answer these questions. Otherwise, it will not let us go forward. So for instance, if I click Next right now, you'll see it says all questions must be answered. So am I 18? Yep. Uh, your high school graduate or equivalent? Yep. Uh, do you have a Social Security number? I am going to click yes, because they won't let you apply without a social security number. Are you applying for mutual recognition? I am not. But if you are, you would click yes. But we are not applying by mutual recognition. So I'm going to click no, and then I'm going to click the next button. Now, on the screen, we see some just a couple pieces of information, like your name. But we also have to add now our social, our birth date, and our gender. You've got to put a social. So I'm going to go ahead and put one in here. 
two, two, five, six, one, three, two, one, seven. Okay. And then a birth date. Let's do uh, zero, one, zero, one, twenty. Let's just do two thousand. Uh, that's not going to be, it has to be further back than that. 1995. Okay. And then let's put a gender in here of male. And we'll scroll down a little bit. And notice over here on the left, you can see where we are currently in our application. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. Now on this screen, uh, we need to add our address. So let's put one, two, three, four, Main Street. And let's see, that would be any town, state, let's just do uh, Florida. Okay, zip code 34952, and the county. It wants to know our county, so let's just put, uh, let's use St. Lucie, and then let's put a phone number, 772, uh, let's see, 323-2011, and we're going to use our email that we did before, on widmire at yahoo.com. Now we got all that information in there, contact information. Now we're going to click next. And now we're just going to verify the information that we gave them. All looks good. If there's anything else we need to add, we would click the add button. Otherwise, we're just going to click next. Now, if you have a license or had a license, a business or professional license, Anywhere in the United States, uh, you could click right here where it says add and put that information in. They would like to know. If not, you would just click the next button. Now, on this screen, what we're going to do here, if this applies, if you have any other names that you've used in the past, and this could include maiden names, then you'd want to add those names here by clicking the add button. In our case, we don't, so we're going to click Next. Now, on this screen, we've got a few more uh, questions. Are you a high school graduate? We're going to click Yes. Are you a member of the Florida Bar? Well, if I am, I'm going to enter my bar number there. We do not have one, so we're not entering it. And do I have a four-year degree in real estate? I do not, so I'm going to click No. All right. And then I'm going to click the Next button. All right, now on this screen here, there's some information in reference to whether you click yes uh, regarding any arrest reports. It says if you click yes, you have to provide documentation for the occurrences uh, and your convictions and so on. So the first question, this is starting the background part of our application. Have you been ever been convicted or found guilty of and so on? If you have been, you would click yes. We're going to click no and click the next button down below. Now, if you have any convictions, then you would have to add them here by clicking the add button. Uh, since we don't, we're going to click the next button. Do I have any judgments or decree of a court been entered against me? So in this case, I'm going to click no, but if you do, you need to click yes. So we're going to click the next button. If you have any uh, judgments against you, you need to click the add button here and enter that information. For us, we don't, so we're going to click next. Third question, have you ever had an application for registration, certification, or licensure in Florida or any other jurisdiction denied and so on? We have not, so we're going to click no. But if you have, you need to click yes and enter the information 
concerning it in this box. Since we do not have any issues there, we're going to click Next. Has any license, registration, or permit to practice any regulated profession and so on been revoked or suspended? In our case, the answer is no. But if you have, you need to click Yes and enter that information in the box. Now we're going to click Next. It mentions that your fingerprint should be done prior to applying again. If you have any supporting document, documentation for background uh, information or questions, or you are providing a transcript or certification of your licensure, you need to be able to add that information to your application. You can add those files by attaching here where it says choose file, and, but we don't, so we're just going to click next. Now this is our final screen, final page to review all the information that we entered for our online application. As I scroll down, you can view all the information that we put in here. And you'll see to the left that we are at the very last step, application summary. So we'll continue to scroll down. We're looking at our answers, our background question answers. Keep scrolling down. And now, we are ready to submit our application. Now, I'm I'm not going to actually submit this uh, since I don't I don't want to submit an application. This is just for practice. But um, once you hit the submit button, it will take you to another screen where you will have to pay the eighty-three dollars and change to go ahead and officially submit your application and pay for it. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short little video. Uh, you should be able to fill out your whole application within uh, about 20 to 30 minutes. Call at 772-323-2011. And again, my name is Don Widmeyer with All Florida Real Estate Schools. Good luck. We hope to see you in one of our future classes.